is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. And this one's going to be a fairly quick one at that. It's basically to let you guys know my 10 reasons why I'm going to the Woodstock Fruit Festival coming up later this month. And if you're not going, you may want to consider going highly. And these reasons may apply to you as well. Okay, so uh, I've done two videos and I'll put links uh, up there real quick for them about 2012 Woodstock Fruit Festival where I interviewed 80 people over on this side about their experience at the festival and over on this side uh, basically has my uh, summary kind of review like I do restaurant reviews of the event itself so uh, yeah check those out if you haven't already I'll also put links at the end of this video so that you guys could watch them after you watch this video so very simply my 10 reasons are number one if you come to the Woodstock Fruit Festival you will get your questions answered anything concerning raw foods and health you're going to get it answered. I mean, all the experts there are going to definitely be able to answer your questions. So, I mean, no longer do you have to buy books, wonder about if you're doing it right. You could totally ask different people and get different answers and, you know, see which one you jab with the most. So, that's really cool. Get your questions answered. Number two, uh, going to the Woodstock Fruit Festival, you will be immersed in this diet, this lifestyle for the next seven, eight days. I mean, it, this is a week-long event. It's one of the longest events of its kind that I know of where you'll be literally immersed in this and you know it's hard to break old habits and coming to the Woodstock Fruit Festival it could give you that jump start you need to basically get you on living a healthier lifestyle whether you're gonna go hundred percent like you will be at the Woodstock Fruit Festival or whether you want to do something more modified but you know breaking old habits like coffee and addictions you know when you're doing that every morning hard to break but not so at the Woodstock Fruit Festival with all the support you're gonna get, plus all the unlimited fruits and vegetables you're gonna be able to eat. So number three, the outdoor activities. The weather was beautiful last year, I expect the same this year. You know, you could go running with uh, Mike Arnstein, you know, go on a bike ride with the Durian Rider, go out to the lake uh, with the life regenerator and swim in the, in the lake, you know, go canoeing. All kinds of different activities. They got the ropes course I liked last year. You got the climbing wall, of course, too, that I enjoyed and I climbed it myself. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this year and I'll have another video for those of you guys that are wondering about my arm. Kind of broke it. Uh, but I'm going to still be at the Woodstock Fruit Festival despite the broken arm. I'll still be giving six lectures actually at the Woodstock Fruit Festival to share my information with you guys as well. Reason number four, of course, to come is the unlimited all you could eat tropical fruits and local fruits and vegetables. So, you know, you will not have to worry about shopping for food, picking out the right best food, because it'll all be done for you. It's gonna be served buffet style. So you're gonna go into the kitchen area and select whatever you'd like to eat and eat till your heart's content. So uh, I really like that a lot, that I really just don't have to worry about shopping, going out to get food, sourcing food. They're gonna do it all for you. So uh, definitely another plus at the Woodstock Food Festival. So reason number five, for me, this is pretty important actually. It's getting back to nature. I know many of you guys might work in big cities and not get back out to nature. For me, nature is simply walking out to my backyard and seeing all my lush fruits and vegetables growing in my backyard. But you know, even being more out in nature, like the Adirondack Mountains uh, in New York and upstate New York, really amazing. I mean, there's no big cities near there. The air's clean, nice lots of grass and forests. And it's just getting back and connecting with where we all lived as a people thousands of years ago before there were skyscrapers and big cities. So I think, you know, just that nature component of this whole event is also really awesome. And I mean, you could enjoy the nature aspects of this event when doing outdoor activities and getting exercise because it's not just about the fruit, it's about the strength too. <laughs> And about getting back to nature and getting fit and healthy and you know this uh, this community specifically really advocates you know uh, getting out to nature and getting some exercise and literally working for your meal. Reason number six that I love the Woodstock Fruit Festival is for all the information and all the lectures specifically there will be over 60 different presentations and I'm actually given six of them myself so I'm doing like 10% of them to share my information but besides my information there's a whole bunch of other speakers that have been doing this for a long time to share their important words of wisdom with you. I mean, you may see a lot of YouTube's, you know, videos uh, for free and learn some stuff, but you know, it's much more valuable to be in front of the speaker, to hear them, to see them, to connect with them personally, to connect with other members of the audience, and more importantly, be able to ask them questions in real time when they arise. 
And so that's that's why I think the Woodstock Fruit Festival is so beneficial just for the lectures alone. I mean, if you had to pay for a lecture, I mean, sometimes some of the speakers charge, you know, 50, 100 bucks just to come to one night. But this is a full week's immersion of many different speakers all in one place at the same time. I mean, where else will you see all your favorite YouTube stars during Rider of the Life Regenerator, Doug Graham, myself, Christina Carrillo Bucaram, Megan Elizabeth, so many people in the one place at the one time to be able to meet all of them, connect with them. I mean, there's no other place than the Woodstock Food Festival, so you gotta come out. Number seven is all the knowledge. I mean, think about it. There's gonna be over 20 different pioneers and other speakers that are gonna be sharing their knowledge with you on uh, raw foods, healthy, fruit and vegetable based lifestyle and I guarantee you there's nowhere else in the world for one week you will have all these leaders and people that have been living this lifestyle successfully so that you can literally pick our brains and you know get this knowledge for yourself so that you can make the changes in your life that you need to make. Number eight of course I can't leave out just the fun of it all it's just so much fun being in nature being it's pretty much like a summer camp for adults to learn a healthy lifestyle. I mean, that's what it is. This place, uh, Camp Walden, is a summer camp for kids, but now the adults take it over, and yeah, there's kids too, and you can bring your kids, and they have daycare and whatnot. But it, it's a really great place to be a kid again, have fun, get back out to nature, do exercise, eat fruits, and learn about the things you can do in your life to get healthy. So number nine, for me, comes down to the people. This is probably more important than some of the other reasons that I gave you guys previously because nowhere else will you meet the people that are involved in living this lifestyle and that believe in it and that are fun people to be around. And you know, you can make lasting connections and friendships with people from literally all over the world. I mean, I met people last year at Woodstock that I'm still in contact today with and I'm really glad I made some of the connections. I mean, one of the people was uh, Kyle Evans down in Houston, Texas. I met him last year and I went out to visit Kyle on our vacation. So that's another thing, if you love to travel, you can meet people from all over the world and you know stay in touch with them, and maybe even stay with them when you travel. I mean, I was able to stay with Kyle because we built up a good friendship and I helped him out get composting and he's successfully composting now and you know got him gardening and stuff. So it was really fun for me to meet others that are sharing this lifestyle and you know, for to me to have, build my friendships with more people, you know, I mean, we all have our circle of friends but unfortunately most of them are not doing the lifestyle so they don't truly understand you on a deep and you know compassionate level so to meet others and to connect with them and to build friendships I mean you, there's no amount of money that you can place on a friendship or some of the people that you may meet at the Woodstock Fruit Festival so you know you just got to come out to meet these people because if you don't come you stay by stay at home you're not gonna meet them at all This brings me down to probably one of the most important points and my last reason that I enjoy and I'm going to the Woodstock Food Festival it's simply about the people that are there but more importantly than just the individual people it's about the whole movement or the community I mean I don't know about you but you know in a just living in a standard city I mean all my neighbors nobody eats raw I mean yeah there's a small raw food support group here but compared to the size of the city raw food people that live here are just a a drop in the hat but it's really amazing when you see the power and the community of you know probably this year 600 people getting together that are all into the same diet that have the same goals and ideals eating a healthy plant strong fruit and vegetable based diet and kicking ass at it and it's just really cool to just have some of the gatherings whether the community gatherings in the evenings when we're doing the the magic show or the talent show or other things and it's just really powerful to be in that you know community where you literally just feel loved and accepted. Many people do all kinds of crazy things for love and acceptance, but all you gotta do is come out to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. You'll be loved and accepted for you and your diet. I mean, it's just really cool to just not be judged for once in life and to literally be loved. And that alone makes it worth it for me to come. So if you're not already coming to the Woodstock Fruit Festival, there is still time and I would highly encourage you guys to do it. I mean, one of the things I like to look at and Yes, you know, I will say that it costs $1,200 to come at this point. I guess if you signed up earlier, it would have been maybe 1000 But if you uh, sign up at this point, it's about $1,200. And yes, not going to deny that that's a lot of money. But in the long run, what is $1,200? If $1,200 could change your life, save your life, if you're ever in a health or healing crisis, I mean, you can't take money with you. And yes, even if you go into some debt, have to charge this on your credit card and pay it off during the year, you know, I think everybody... It's worth it to go on a you know one week vacation a year and have fun. I mean, literally, 
at the end of this event, like I feel every year, you know, I just don't want to go home because it's just such a loving, fun environment. And I wish it could go on and on for all the other, you know, 51 weeks of the year as well. But it does have to come to an end. But while I'm there, I'm totally in the moment and just loving the community aspects and just loving all the different aspects of the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Another thing I want to add is that, you know, if you do check my videos from last year, once again, that I'll post at the end, you know, I interviewed like 80 plus people about their experience at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. The overwhelming majority of them said they'll be back the following year. And, you know, if you guys come out, I guarantee you'll probably come back the following year because you're just going to love it. But it's just getting over that initial thrust of just, yes, I'm going to do it. And I want you guys to come out and do it. Put your foot out there. Take the first step to, you know, come out, make your reservation to come to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. I mean, I know it's going to be worth your time, your effort, and the money that you're going to invest in coming because you'll get so much more out of it than the money that you're going to put in to, you know, to come there. One of the things I like to say is that, you know, the, the crew behind the scenes have been working diligently to make this event better each and every year. And this year they're pulling out all the stops. Some of the things I've seen from behind the scenes, it's definitely going to be a better uh, event this year. The camp has been refurbished in some ways and they're going to have more equipment and machinery to make raw foods. They're going to have, you know, a juicing station, a, you know, frozen sorbet station and a blender station, all kinds of cool stuff. And they're doing this for you guys. Now, yes. I do wish the uh, event was a little bit more affordable and I wish they cut costs a bit more and a bit tighter on the funds so they could make this more affordable for everybody. But you know what? If it was more affordable, it might be a couple hundred dollars cheaper and I think the couple hundred dollars extra they're adding will definitely make the end experience worth it for you guys. Uh, one of the problems of last year that if you watch the video above, you know, many people said that the uh, food was a challenge like getting ripe, fresh fruits and having current availability all the time. I mean, last year what happened to me, it pretty much looked like they made a big bulk buy of fruits and vegetables in the beginning of the event. And then, yeah, they had a few deliveries in between the event. Um, and that didn't work so well. So I think a much better approach, if it was me and I was running the event, which I'm not, I would probably tend to, you know, make a good purchase in the beginning. But then every day have somebody run out to the New York State Terminal or Wholesale Produce Terminal in uh, New York City and just get the deals of everything organic that may be going ripe because those are less in price and then just run a truck back each and every day to bring new shipments of ripe fruit in every single day you know that's going to definitely save money number one and also provide fruit for people and number two you know it's going to save some of the wholesalers from dumping the fruit because it is going bad because it is ripe but that's the stuff we want to eat so you know by doing this i think the festival could save money lower food costs and provide ripe fruit to everybody there and uh, keep them happy. So the final thing I'd like to say about the Woodstock Fruit Festival is you wanna click the link below to you know sign up to go now if you're not already going. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime event. They're having it this year. I don't know if they're gonna have it next year. Hopefully if this year's successful, they will, but last year they had a budget deficit and they're gonna be running the same way this year. So I would do it more affordably if it was me personally. So, you know, I recommend that you guys come out this year because they may not have another one. And, you know, once again, it's like when you go on that vacation, you know, I mean, it's, it's just so much fun and you want to just go for another vacation. You may only get off a week a year. And I definitely say that if you guys only get a week off a year, the Woodstock Fruit Festival is the week you want to take off, especially if you're into the plant-based, raw foods, whole foods, fruit and vegetable-based diet. It's definitely where you want to be and worth it to come out. Hey, if you do sign up, be sure to pick me and choose me, John Kohler, as your sponsor. They uh, help me out with some of my travel costs. Everybody that chooses me as their sponsor, and that helped me out. You know, hopefully this video has helped you out, make a better decision, more informed decision, and to teach you guys about my experiences at Woodstock. Once again, I'll put links up to my two prior videos I made about Woodstock. I cannot recommend enough that you come out to the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2013 if you haven't already, and be sure to say hi to me if you come to the event. I mean, once again, everybody at the event, all the different lecturers, speakers, and YouTubers that you see, feel free to come up to any of them. We all don't bite. We're all frugivores, man. <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're the best. Thank you.